Live from News 3, the Old Dominion Bull Court Press. Well, four weeks from tonight, we'll be watching live regular season basketball at Chartway Arena. Good evening and welcome to tonight's edition of the Old Dominion Full Court Press. We're sitting down with Athletic Director Wood Seelig and getting a look at how some of the players spice up their living space. But first, two legends returning to campus this week. Former Monarch great Nancy Lieberman and ESPN's Jay Harris back in town to hold an appropriate welcome event for women's head coach Delisha Milton-Jones. Milton Jones hired during the pandemic and did not get a typical introduction to Monarch Nation. Harrison Lieberman taking part in a conversation last night with players and fans to showcase the coach to the fan base. They're happy to come back to support the team, but also to lend a voice and an ear when needed. We cannot do it without the teammates. We want to be great teammates to uh, Delisha and to the women's basketball program. And we want to continue to you know, give them the wherewithal so they can be champions again. Giving back has always been a part of us. So this is just the, the next thing that we're doing to give back. The things that they do behind the scenes, I can never repay them for, but it's a valuable thing when you have people like that that you can call friend first and foremost. The Lady Monarchs begin their campaign November 9th, hosting South Carolina State. Well, as for the men, the Monarchs hope to continue a string of success under Jeff Jones this season, both on the floor and in the seats. It's a stretch of which athletic director Wood Seelig is well aware as he looks forward to a more normal basketball season beginning in November. Our fans here at Old Dominion and throughout Hampton Roads have been treated to, to nothing but exceptional basketball. Wood Seelig is in his 12th season as Old Dominion's director of athletics. And since Jeff Jones arriving back in 2013, he's had a lot to be impressed about as far as the men's basketball program is concerned. We've been the best performing Conference USA team on the road since Coach Jones arrived. And then certainly at home, we have the second best home record both for overall games and Conference USA games in the league since 2013. The lead monarch evaluates all of the programs on campus and from what he's seen, Fans of the silver and blue can expect more good things when the season tips off next month. As has become a staple under Jones, a defensive-minded group will take the floor. Defense may not be sexy, uh, but it, it certainly does win games, and, and winning is sexy, and winning championships is what we all want, and we all want to go deep in postseason play. This year, there will be fans in the seats to see the Monarch shoot for more victories. After being limited to 250 spectators a season ago, a hopeful packed house at Chartway Arena. We've led or been second in Conference USA in men's basketball attendance for the last four or five years. So we have great home crowds. Our teams feed off their energy. And seeing those faces, hearing that roar, that's what Seelig has missed the most. I love, you know, when it's almost deafening in, in the arena and, and you can't hear yourself talking to someone and I like I love it when the game's on the line and there's 10 seconds left and, and you're hoping that we make the play that that wins the game for us so uh, just just having the adrenaline rush and the uncertainty of the outcome of a game yeah that that's what I really miss now it's time for marching with the monarchs we're marching 94 feet with the monarchs here with Brady O'Connell and, and Brady what's your favorite basketball movie Favorite basketball movie, probably uh, Love and Basketball. Yeah? Yes, sir. What do you like about that? I think just the plot and the characters that all just work together. Your favorite pair of basketball shoes that you've ever owned? <sighs> um, I think my favorite pair would probably be anything from the KD line. Okay. Kevin Durant, yeah, he's got some good shoes. Jeff Jones, obviously, is your head coach. Any favorite Jeff Jones-isms that he says quite often or says all the time? Oh, my gosh. Um, I think the the Daily P. Franks from Coach Jones is, is a good one right there. <laughs> really, the Daily P. Franks? I don't know what his order is, but whatever it is, it, it's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hidden talents. Have any hidden talents beyond basketball? Ping pong. Yeah? Ping pong. Yeah, I love ping pong. Me and my brothers play that all the time. Is that your post-basketball venture will be a table tennis player? I mean, you know, if the Olympics ever open up a spot, I, I might have to take that shot. Brady's a multi-sport athlete there. Well, still ahead, we're checking out some of the Monarch Cribs, how the players are spicing up their living space. And the Full Court Press continues right after this. Live from News 3, the Old Dominion Bowl Court Press. 
When they're not practicing or in class, members of the Old Dominion men's basketball team spend some time relaxing in their apartments. And rest assured, they've come up with some creative ways to personalize their living space. Megan Plain explores some of these apartment amenities. We're the home of ODU basketball's AJ Oliver. Gonna check out his crib. Let's go ahead and say hello. Ah, hello. How's How are we? Good. good, good. How are we doing today? Pretty good. How are you doing? Oh, no, we're good. You guys want to come in and see? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> My parents kind of did the majority of the living room, so everything you see here is theirs, but this, this is mine. I have a retro PlayStation 2 that I love to play video games on. I also have my PlayStation 4. What's the uh, video game of choice? Ooh, for right now, it's Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Oh, there we go. Absolutely. I'm Black Ops. Oh, yeah. It's, no. it's so good. <laughs> We already know how Black Ops be. Now this here, this is my prized possession. This is my, oh no, no. That is my prized possession. This represented how Will's mother was able to communicate uh, with him when he was in the upside down. Come on, I'll show you guys the bedroom. This is Tony Jr. He's my penguin. I don't, I carry him most everywhere. Uh, nobody really sees him because I keep him hidden. But um, yeah, this is gonna be my road buddy for the year. So if you guys see me and him, it's my son, Tony. So say hey to him. What you keep in mind when you're, you know, just decorating the place, getting it all set up, how would you describe that? Yeah, I'm a vibe guy. So essentially what I do is like, I got lights in my room. I like the colors. I'm a very colorful person. I can connect this phone to the lights. And is this the place to be like on the weekends if one of the guys on the teams is gonna throw a shindig? You got the oh, lights you know. here. Yes. Um, <laughs> no, we, we keep it very clean and classy. Yes, absolutely. Um, no, 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 but uh, yeah, every once in a while, whenever the guys wanna come over, they're more than welcome to. All right, we're in the kitchen now. Walk me through what you're typically cooking up. Oh man, I'm a big breakfast guy. And so, oh, I'll show y'all. This is, this is my, this is my baby. This, oh no, this, this girl right here. Now you can throw her with anything. I get two pieces of you know, white bread, uh, toast them up, make some scrambled eggs with cheese, some bacon, a little bit of hash browns, put them all on top of each other, a little bit of ketchup and mayo. And... There we go. I'm stacking up your place with other places of guys on the team. Uh, you know, Where does your place stand? I would say if anybody's is above me, I would put maybe Jalen. Jalen's house is really nice. Like the way his was set up is a lot, is actually pretty cool. And we actually may be visiting with Jalen Hunter next week, so we'll see if that stacks up. Well, that wraps up tonight's edition of the Old Dominion Full Court Press. Remember, if you joined us late, we'll have the entire show posted on the sports page of WTKR.com.